Welcome to my PyTorch video tutorial series. Today we are going to see how to install PyTorch on OS X in roughly 10 minutes. We will start with Xcode. We will see how to install it or update it, specifically to the version 8.3.2. Then we will see how to install the additional components. We will move on and install Homebrew on our system and I will repeat the word system, I think 15 times at least. So we will see how to install and update and upgrade all the packages. And then finally, how to install Git on our system. Then we will install Anaconda or Miniconda. So we will start with the installation, the activation, which means modifying our system path and then sourcing our configuration file. And then we will install three essential Python packages, matplotlib, ipython, and Jupyter. Then we will add this Omith channel to our environment. Finally, we will install Torch and Torch Vision through Conda. In order to be able to accelerate computations on the graphic processing unit, we are going to see how to set up your machine to be CUDA ready. So the CUDA chapter contains the following. We will see how to update or install the drivers on our machine, then how we are gonna install the toolkit, and finally we will download and install the CUDNN library. Finally, we will install PyTorch from source. So we will have to install first the dependencies, downgrade the CLang from the version 8.1.0 to the version 8.0.0 because it's otherwise not compatible with the uh, current version of the CUDA for OX10. Then we will just have to set up CMake to uh, know about where Anaconda is installed. And then finally, we will be able to install PyTorch from source code and then validate uh, its successful installation. Let's start by installing or updating our Xcode. Let's check the progress of the installation. Here we can see it's still downloading. And here we go, it's installed. Let's check the version. Uh, yes, we'd like to install additional required components. And there we go, Xcode has been installed and the current version is the 8.3.2. As the second step, we are going to install Homebrew on our system. So we can type this command and press enter. Homebrew will be installed on the system. Since it's already available on my system, I will skip this point. We can type brew update, once more, brew update, and then brew upgrade. Then we need to install git, so we are gonna do brew install git, and we can see that it is already available on my system. Now we'd like to install Anaconda on our system, so we can type brew cask search conda, and we will see that there are two available packages. One is called Anaconda, and the other one is called Miniconda. On my system, I would like to install Miniconda, which is a smaller Anaconda. Brew cask install Miniconda. We see that Miniconda is going to be installed in uh, my home directory slash Miniconda3, and therefore we will have to add to our path the directory uh, home slash Miniconda3 slash bin. I'm gonna copy this line and then I'm gonna edit my uh, bash RC. Perhaps you will have to edit your profile or profile RC. So at the end I can add conda and we paste the command they told us. Let's save and quit.
So now we can source our bash RC. And let's see if you if we have installed Python, for example. So we type Python. And we can see that we have Python 3.6.0 from Continuum Analytics Inc. If we check where it is installed, we can type which Python. And then we can see it is installed in my home directory. So user head called and miniconda3 slash bin slash python. Now um, I will install other two packages, which I think they are essential for using Python on my computer. So I will type conda install matplotlib uh, ipython and Jupyter. Mm, yes. And there we go. Finally, to install PyTorch and Torch Vision, we can type conda config dash dash add channels submit. And then finally, we can type conda install PyTorch and Torch Vision. We can answer yes. And that's pretty much it, IPython, we just installed it, which is going to use the Python 3.6.0. We can now type import Torch and we can see uh, Torch and Torch Vision are both available. We are going to be just going with the first one for the moment. And then let's call T our tensor. Um, for example, we can have it um, torch.rand of five values. Don't worry if you don't understand what I'm typing so far, it's just to show you that the system is actually up and running. So if we just uh, print the result of t, we have a random uh, tensor with, of dimension 5, populated by numbers from 0 included and 1 excluded. Let's try to go further, since this Mac where I have just installed PyTorch has also um, NVIDIA GPU, I would like perhaps to accelerate computation on the graphic processing unit. So let's see if I can send this tensor to the GPU. So let's call a new, let's call my tensor R and let's have it equal to T, but send to my um, GPU. Um, if I just type enter, we are going to see that there is an error. PyTorch is telling us that Torch has not been compiled with CUDA enable. To install PyTorch with the CUDA enable, we will have to install PyTorch from source code. So let's quit for the moment, IPython, and update the drivers of our system. So we can go on system preferences, click on CUDA, and then install CUDA update. And we are done. We can click on close and we can see now that the current version is the 8.0.81. And let's go now back to the terminal. Let's open a new uh, window here in Tmax and let's install first of all CUDA. And that was pretty quick. So let's also install now the CUDNN library. To do so, we are going to go on our browser. We can type CUDNN download. We agree. And then we select the correct version. So download CUDNN version 6.0 for CUDA 8. And we choose our CUDNN version 6.0 library for OS X. You can click here. So let's move into download and CUDA. So here we are going to see two folders, include and lib. So let's go inside include. We have a sudnn.h. So let's do uh, sudo move sudnn into slash user local CUDA include and then let's go one level up and inside lib and here we have the actual library so we can do again sudo move 
all these three guys into user local CUDA and lib bam and we have installed CUDNN so now we can uh, clone our PyTorch so let's go in our environment let's go on the website of PyTorch PyTorch.org you can click on fork me on github uh, clone and download copy so we go git clone our repository and that is named PyTorch we can cd into PyTorch uh, let's follow here there are some instructions down there down the page so we had to install some additional packages and here on OS X so we can do conda install these guys first and yes so let's say we have the most updated version of Xcode so if we type clang dash dash version we should see something like Apple LLVM version 810 and the unfortunate news is that, that the current CUDA version we have just installed is not compatible with this version of the command line tools so we are gonna go on the downloads for the Apple developers we are gonna look for the command line tools Mac OS 10.12 for Xcode 8.2 we can download it and install it okay I agree install and there we go so yeah move to trash thank you so we are back to our terminal and now we can type sudo xcode select switch library developer command line tools and now if we type clang dash dash version we see that we have installed instead now the apple llvm version 8.0.0 let's export now the cmake prefix path which is basically the location of our mini conda so we are gonna paste this one and then type tilde slash mini conda 3 finally we can copy this last instruction which will be installing our pytorch from source and it finished right now so let's verify that the installation actually worked so let's type i python and then let's import torch so import torch let's call t our tensor and it's equal torch dot rand of five values and this is the output of t so let's call now r our cuda tensor and we can type t.cuda and let's see done so if we print out r we can see it's a cuda float tensor of size 5 yay 